Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Tamika's Nuggets. This week, we're continuing with part three of our discussion of who God is. And today we're going to talk about the names of God. This is how God revealed himself to his people. So you stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm so excited to say that we're continuing our discussion topic of who God is. And this is part three and our final video on this topic. So we talked about in video number one, the natural attributes of God. And in video number two, we talked about the moral attributes of God. So if you have not watched those, please, after you watch this video, make sure you go back and look at video one and video two. All right, so our scriptural reference is in the book of Acts, and we're going to go to chapter 17, verses 22 and 23. 22 reads, Then Paul stood in the midst of the Areopagus and said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in all things, you are very religious. Verse 23 says, For as I was passing through and considering the objects of your worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God, therefore the one whom you worship without knowing, him I proclaim to you. So this is talking about Paul in Athens and he noticed Athenians worshiping false gods. They're worshiping idols. And so he started telling them about God and revealing God to them. And so they brought him before their council there to get more information on this God that he's teaching them of. And so while he was there, he also noticed an altar that they had and the inscription on the altar, it read to the unknown God. So they really didn't have a revelation of who God was, who God is. So, you know, he went before the council and he talked to them about God. So I chose this scripture um, because I thought that maybe there are people out there today don't really have a revelation of who God is. They don't know God for themselves. They don't know anything about him, how he is, how he relates to us as people, you know, um, anything about him. So I felt it was a very important topic because God is a jealous God and he wants to be first place in our life. He created us in his image after his likeness. He wants to be first place. He wants us to depend and trust in him for all things. He wants us to go to him and include him in our life in every area, in everything that we do. No one, no thing should be before God. So this is essential. This is very important. This is the most important relationship that we will have in our lives, entire lives. So it's a very needed topic of discussion. So make sure you tune in to video one and two if you have not already. Let's do a quick recap of what was discussed in video one and two. And this will be a very brief high level recap. So you'll want to go back and still watch the videos. Video one, we learned about the natural attributes of God. And we talked about seven different attributes of God. And the first attribute was that God is the, the creator of all. He is the creator of everything that is. Uh, point number two says that God is a spirit. If you didn't know what God was, now you know. God is a spirit. Point number three says that God is eternal. 
point number four says that God does not change. He's the same for in the past, in the present, and in the future forevermore till the end of time. Point number five says that God is all powerful, omnipotent. Point number six says God is all knowing. He is omniscient. Point number seven says God is present everywhere, omnipresent. God is transcendent and he is also imminent. Those are the seven points that we discussed in video part number one. Now let's move to part number two. In that video, we discussed the moral attributes of who God is. And we talked about six different moral attributes. The first attribute is that God is holiness. Point number two says that God is love. The third attribute is that God is truth. The fourth attribute is that God is wisdom. And the fifth attribute is that God is infallible. And the last and final point attribute is that God is righteous. So these are some very good attributes to give you some knowledge on and insight on who God is. So let's move into um, part three, which is discussing the names of God. And throughout the Bible, there are different names for God. And God revealed himself to his people uh, by different names. And you can use these names in your own life every day for whatever you stand in the need of. God gave us these names and we are to use them for whatever, you know, whatever the issue is, whatever the circumstance is, whatever the need is. Or if we just want to worship God and be in his presence, uh, we can use these names. Um, the first name is Yahweh, which means Jehovah. It, it's our Jehovah, our Lord. This is also the name that Jesus used to pray to God. And this was the name of the Israelites in the Old Testament. This is the name that they used to refer to God. They called him Yahweh. All right, and um, Jehovah Rapha. Rapha is the Lord that heals. You got an ailment, you want to call on Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. Jehovah Shammah. This is the Lord is there. And so this is God's presence. This is, you know, God being there with you or in a place or in a situation you need God to show up Jehovah Shammah Jehovah to Sikkanu is the Lord our righteousness and this just goes back to when we was talking about the moral attributes of God God is righteousness God is what's right and what he is the moral standard of what's right what's wrong he teaches us right from wrong, godly living, righteousness, holiness. Uh, and he redeemed us back to himself. He's the administration administrator of all justice. And he redeemed us back to himself, which through our salvation, through Jesus Christ, we have been made righteous and we have been put in right standing with God. God is righteousness. Jehovah Makedesh. Is the Lord who sanctifies. God is our sanctifier. He consecrates us. He says that we are, we are holy, that we are, he declares us holy. He says that we are holy, we are righteous. He consecrates us, sanctifies us. This all comes from God, Jehovah Makedesh. Jehovah Shalom, you definitely want to get to know this God. This is the God of our peace. If you got strife, issue, problems, you can't rest, you can't find any joy, you, God of peace is who you need to talk to. Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Sabaoth is the Lord of hosts. This is our almighty God of sovereign power who is surrounded by his heavenly 
hosts of angels. Oh my God, that is just so awesome. The Lord of hosts. He is the God of hosts. He has angels upon angels upon angels upon angels that are ready, available to be dispatched. You have angels assigned to you to protect you. And God commands the angels. And at his command, they go and do what he commands them to do. All right. And El Olam is the everlasting God. We also learned in our lesson prior videos that God is eternal. He never dies. God is the beginning and the end. God is forever. He is the eternal ruler and sustainer of this entire universe. Jehovah Jireh, this is our provision. This is the God that does provide. And so you need provision in your life. You're lacking anything. You, have, you don't have all sufficiency. You need to talk to Jehovah Jireh, the Lord that does provide for every need that we have in our life. El Shaddai. Ooh, this one is a good one. This is the almighty God, all powerful God. All power is in his hands. He is all powerful. And really, these are just recaps of some things we've talked about in videos one and two. We're just recapping. We're just giving you the name that you need to call on uh, in every situation. So, we already talked about God being all powerful. There's none above him. There's none like him. There's none more powerful than he is. He is the supreme being. Awesome. El Elyon, which is the most high God. There's none above him. He is the most high. Hallelujah. Don't get me excited up in here. <laughs> Hallelujah, God is the most high God. Praise his holy name. Mm, no other gods above him. All right. Woo! Elohim, which is God, the one supreme being who is the only true God. True and living God. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Adonai is our Lord or Master. Jehovah Nisi, which is the Lord, our banner. Now, uh, just a little explanation of what that is. That is your protection. This is the God that comes to your defense and your aid. This is your protection. Uh, Jehovah Ra or Rohi is the Lord, my shepherd. He is the God that guides and directs. Elkanah is jealous God. Now, God is a jealous God. He wants to be first in your life. He don't want you to have any idols before him, worship any other gods, uh, put family before him. God has to be first place over your family, over yourself. God is first. God gets the glory. He's first. So God is a jealous God. And he tells us that in his word. No, thou shall have no other gods before him. He told us that plain as day, and that's how he feels about it. So, you know, these are the names of God. They are awesome. And no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're facing, there is a name that you can call upon and that you can declare the victory in your life. So let's just, uh, let's just turn these names into confessions so that you know, we can make confessions over your life for whatever you stand in the need of. Yahweh is Jehovah, our Lord. This is the name that, you know, we can pray to. The Israelites prayed to him. Jesus prayed to him. Yahweh is our Lord, is our father, is, is Jehovah to us. Um, may Yahweh hear your prayer, honor your prayer. The word of God says that his ear is not too heavy to hear your prayer. His arm is not too short to say. So we declare in the name of Jesus that Jehovah Yahweh, that Yahweh 
hears our prayers. He answers. He delivers. He sets us free in every situation, every circumstance. In Jesus' name. Jehovah Rapha, our healer. We declare in the name of Jesus that Jehovah Rapha, our God, heals us. That by Jesus' stripes, we find healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jehovah Shammah that Jehovah Shammah shall be there with us in every situation and circumstance. He will never leave nor forsake us. We can turn to him in family issues and we declare deliverance over those family issues, those health issues, those uh, work issues, any issues. We declare that God is there with us. He never leaves nor forsake us. We don't have to be afraid in any situation or circumstance. What can man do to us? Hallelujah, for Jehovah Shammah is with us. Jehovah Tzitkanu, the Lord, our righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah Tzitkanu, that you have forgiven us of all sin, all iniquity. You have placed it in, this, in the sea of forgetfulness to remember it no more. You have made us righteous through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, our Savior. And we are in right standing with you today. Jehovah to sit canoe. Jehovah Makedesh, thank you, Lord, that you have sanctified us. Hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us, we have been set aside for your use and we will fulfill your will and your call upon our life, Father God. We look to you for our guidance and direction in every area of our lives because you knew us before we were in our mother's womb. You called us and equipped us and qualified us for a specific purpose and will, and we will fulfill in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jehovah Makedesh. Jehovah Shalom, we thank you that you are the restorer of our peace. Peace be still in every situation, every circumstance. Hallelujah, you are the keeper of our peace, and we declare that through you that we have peace in every area of our life, that we are in peace as much as we can be with all men, according to your word of God. Thank you, God, Jehovah, Shalom, for keeping us in sweet peace. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. We thank you, Lord, that your host of angels bear us up, lest we dash our foot against the stone. Thank you for your holy angels that protect us each and every day of our life as we travel to and from our destinations. We thank you for traveling grace and mercy. Hallelujah. By your host of angels that you have deployed on our behalf in Jesus name. Aren't you getting excited? Woo, I'm excited. Goodness. Look at what God has given to us. Names that we can call and make declarations over every situation and circumstance. That's, that's a great love. That kind of love, the love that God has for us, that's what you need to get a revelation of. If you don't already have a revelation of the love of God, we talked about God is love in part two. God is love. Make sure you look at that video. God is love. He loved us first. He taught us how to love others. God's love for us, it's extreme. We can't get away from it. God loves us so much. Oh my God, he has done so much for us. He's created us. He's given us everything that we need. We don't have to lack for anything. He's given his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, to redeem us back to our father. He didn't want us to suffer the punishment. He sent Jesus for us. Oh my God, he's given us names upon names that we can call upon him in every situation and circumstance. Oh my God, he answers our prayers. He delivers us. He provides for us. Oh Get a revelation of the love of God. Just do a study on the love of God. Just meditate in the love of God. God loves you. You can't fail in any situation or circumstance. You may fall, but get up because God loves you. He's there to help pick you up. He said he'll never leave nor forsake you. He's always there with you. 
His love is an all-consuming fire. God loves you and me. He loves his creation. I just had to take a moment to, I just had to take that little detour real quick, but let me bring it right on back. <laughs> All right. So, whew. Mm, okay. All right. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. He'll provide for every need. I feel like I talked about that one, but God is our provision for everything that we need. Whatever you stand in need of, take it to the Father. Jehovah Jireh, you are the Lord that provides for me. I declare that you supply all of my need according to your riches and glory through and by Christ Jesus. Therefore, I know that my bills are paid in full. You, you are my provider. You are my source, Father God. You are Jehovah Jireh, the God whom I trust and look to for all provision. And I thank you that you have already supplied all of my needs. Thank you, Lord. Woo! El Shaddai, the God Almighty. Oh my God. I don't know what you stand in the need of. I don't know what the problem is, the circumstance, the issue. If this is an issue on your job, is if, if it's an issue in college with the administration, with your professor, if it's an issue in high school with people that, you know, are trying to bully you, if it's an issue in the, in the home with your uh, parents, with your siblings, whatever the issue is, I don't care what it is. If it looks like it's too hard for you, <laughs> then it's an issue for El Shaddai. That's who you call upon. El Shaddai, I thank you that you are my protection. You are my strength. You are my portion. You are my very present help in the time of any storm. You are my king of glory. You are the Lord God strong, strong and mighty in battle. You are strong in every situation that I face. Hallelujah. You are my victory. You are my strength and my weakness. I, it just goes on and on. El Shaddai is almighty, all powerful. When your back is up against the wall, El Shaddai will deliver you. So we just declare in the name of Jesus that El Shaddai shows himself strong and mighty on your behalf. In Jesus name, it is so. Woo! El Elyon, the most high God. The Most High God, in the name of Jesus. I, that You know what just came to mind? There is a scripture. These people worshipped um, idols and uh, a God that wasn't the Almighty God. And um, I'm trying to remember the story. I need to go refresh on it. But they put the um, that statue of that God in the same room with the presence of God. And um, when they would go back, that idol or that so-called God would be turned over because the presence of God, there's no one higher than God. God is the most high God. There are no gods above him. There's no God like him. He is the all-powerful God. So, uh I want to say that the God's name was Dagon or Dragon or something to that effect. I'm going to have to find that scripture and talk about it in another video. I might do a little short excerpt on that story. It is an awesome story. It just shows God's power that he is the most high God. That idol, that so-called God could not stand against the almighty God. It had to uh, fall over. <laughs> It could not even stand. And so uh, it was just so powerful. It's awesome. God is the most high God. So we thank you, God, that you are the most high God in our life. We'll look to you. We'll trust in only you. Our faith will be in you for every situation, every circumstance. What can man do to us if the most high God is? is on our side in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Um, where are we? Elohim, the, the one supreme being who is the only 
true God. God is supreme. Hallelujah. And we, we can just couple that with what we were saying with the most high God. God is the supreme being. There's none above him. Hallelujah. Adonai, which is our Lord and our master. We declare in the name of Jesus that Adonai goes with us throughout the day. He goes before us and supernaturally arranges things for our benefit. That he protects our way. He guides our way. He instructs our way. Hallelujah. That he is with us. He protects us. He shows us the way. He gives us wisdom. He is our master. We look to him for provision, all sufficiency in the name of Jesus. All right. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner, our protection and our aid. They that come against us one way shall flee before us seven ways. Hallelujah. Because of Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes against us one way, he flee before us seven ways. Hallelujah. We just thank you, God, for being our banner in every situation and every circumstance. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard when the enemy comes in like a flood. Same thing, our protection, our covering in the name of Jesus. And we just declare this word over our situation, our circumstance. No one can get an advantage over us. No one, no thing can prevail against us. The enemy is a defeated foe. Hallelujah. God has made our enemies our footstool. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay. All right. So uh, Jehovah Roha, the Lord, my shepherd, just like a shepherd guiding the sheep, God guides us. He shows us the way. So we just declare in the name of Jesus that Jehovah Roha is your God. He is your shepherd. He guides your way. He shows you which way to go. He won't lead you astray. He guides you by his Holy Spirit. That your spirit is sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise and you're led of the Lord. You hear the voice of your father and the voice of a stranger where you will not follow in the name of Jesus. He is your God. So we just take these scriptures. We just make them relevant to us, relevant to our situations and circumstances. And we just make declarations. We uh, go before the father in prayer. We call out these names and we just declare it over whatever we're facing. So you are victorious. There's no excuse for you to uh, be defeated. You are not a defeated foe. You are a victor in the name of Jesus. So you just take these uh, names of God. You study out these names of God. When you need them, you bring them up and you talk to your heavenly father. So this has been so exciting to me. I hope that these three videos gave you some insight on who your heavenly father is, who your creator is, and how much he loves you and how much he's given to you. And I just hope it was a blessing to your life. And, you know, put in the chat, if you felt like these three videos have added value to your life and have blessed you and given you some insight and given you some insight, uh, excitement into who God is, I know I'm excited. <laughs> so put in the chat, um, you know, hey, Tamika, Miss Tamika, this, this, these videos have really blessed me. I'm excited and they have blessed my life. So, all right, you be blessed and thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Be blessed. Thank you for tuning in to this week's video. I hope you found the information shared to be very helpful. If you did, go ahead and share the video with someone you know and love. Also, subscribe and click the bell so that you'll be notified each week when I upload a video. Be sure to tune in next week. I'll see you then. Be blessed.